Hello friends, today I will introduce you to Colbert. Uh, this is in a sequence to the last video of cross encoder. Now uh, cross and uh, we will compare the mechanism of cross encoder and Colbert. And then I will also show you a code example to show the effectiveness uh, like which mechanism may suit your use case. So let's get started. Now, uh, first when we saw a semantic search, so uh, in semantic search in the first video when we saw like we took uh, two part like a query and document and uh, then used some model to en encode, embed the text of query and document and then we compared them with cosine similarity. So it was no interaction mechanism no interaction in the sense that the query and document do not interact with each other uh, I, uh, each other in any way so uh, like uh, as mentioned in this slide that uh, it is converted in the single vector representation depending on the dimension of the model for example 512 or 1024 or similar and uh, same model is used for uh, encoding the text both like a query or document and uh, then uh, we get cosine similarity for the matching now uh, the key thing of cross encoder was uh, that is the second mechanism the other video which i uh, which i had shown with the code example now there you see like uh, there happens uh, it is called early interaction because what is done that first we in whichever the query and document we have we combine them make them as a single unit like uh, has shown in the slide that uh, this is a query and this is the document with paragraph so we are combining them making them as a single text unit and then we are passing it to bert or roberta type uh, transformer head and then on top of that attention head uh, are like attentions are calculated and then uh, we get a prediction between 0 to 1 so this way uh, because there is a direct interaction happening each time embeddings are calculated encoding is done and uh, the accuracy wise uh, this performs quite well as I had shown you earlier and uh, so accuracy wise it is good but uh, because every time you have to combine both the things and perform embedding on top of that so it adds uh, the quadratic complexity because of the transformer calculations like uh, multi-head attention and all those things. So uh, that is one drawback of this mechanism. Now we will see Colbert, this is a late interaction mechanism. Now in late interaction what it means that uh, first of all I will briefly explain how Colbert works. So in Colbert query and document are tokenized and tokens are converted into embeddings and then with uh, th you can store them like in a normal vector database or you can index them in a way and then later uh, with the site of every token of query uh, the other document tokens are uh, like aligned with the maximum uh, similarity between them as shown in the equation and then based on that uh, it is decided like uh, which document based on the maximum similarity of the interaction between the each token of the query and the document token matches so based on that it identifies the best match so this is the diagram of the this architecture uh, i will uh, share the link of the paper from which the diagrams have been taken and the formula so uh, that is why because this is a late interaction and you can uh, you can store pre-compute and store them so that's why it is a bit efficient mechanism now this is a comparison between cross encoder and colbert so this mechanism is kind of a bag of token embeddings because uh, like a bag of words if you might have heard so there are like a count of the words are used similarly here in a bag of token actually token embeddings are individually used so not a whole document is being embedded and uh, maximum similarity between the query token and the token of the document are com uh, compared and then maximum similarity is used and then average query score is used so that's why it is also called bag of token embeddings and uh, it uh, performance wise it is more effective 
and it uh, provides a very close to uh, cross encoder level uh, what you can say accuracy so you can use it in a production environment i will show you a code as well now uh, here we are using uh, this package named uh, regatoli now that package has uh, implementation and uh, it has integrated the colbert v2 so uh, you can directly use it from the package i am not re-executing every cell here but the key thing is that i have used uh, this uh, ramayana by valmiki from the project gutenberg website this is a text file now as you can see it has uh, this much of uh, amount of text here I am performing the indexing and uh, at the time of first time you perform indexing on this huge number of text so it takes some time behind the scene it uses fast but if uh, there is like uh, your CPU or uh, your architecture of the machine doesn't have support for fast then there is a uh, played mechanism which it use alternately so ultimately it is a indexing now here the after the indexing so if you see like uh, these many embeddings have been created and the text length i have uh, maximum document length has been 180 so and behind the scene this library uses uh, llama index uh, mechanism llama index behind the scene for uh, the text splitting part so after that uh, after we go through all these things so after that the index has been stored in this place now when we perform search so here i have placed a query like uh, as you may be aware that uh, in ramayan uh, when hanuman goes to ashokvatika there uh, he meets uh, sita and uh, sita uh, conveys some message to hanuman which he has to later convey to uh, lord ram so here uh, from the whole ramayana text I have asked the, like the same query, what did Sita tell Hanuman in Ashokvatika? We have kept k as a 20. So uh, default value is 10, we are taking uh, 20. And uh, if you see this execution is uh, providing instantaneous response from the index. It, uh, I have already loaded the index. When you run it for the first time, it may take uh, at least 2-3 seconds. But later on it just provide instantaneously response and the first response if you see so this is the response like rise of bravest of the brave and come in all the all thy might to save now come with the thunders of bow now and at the end it is like uh, this is the whole sentence ultimately conveys the la at the last thing as a last communication before Hanuman returns back like uh, this is what the whole whole sentence from the Ramayana these are the other uh, other top key answers were written so like uh, these of the things are there now uh, just to show you comparison here I am loading cross encoder and uh, in cross encoder what uh, what I am doing that I am passing same query but with these uh, this uh, 20, 20 out results which we already fetched using a colbert and here if you see uh, when you execute this even if i had executed it earlier it took at least 0 0.1 second now here it has matched to uh, match with uh, 20 uh, 20 answers like uh, this way now if let us say I increase the k to uh, 100 okay. so k 100 it returned almost instantaneously now here if we again take those things and if we execute this it took one second So the more the comparison it has to make every time because encoding is going on the time would slowly keep increasing however the benefit of Colbert would be that first of all you don't have to do re-ranking that is the second step here 
and in the first step itself there is a high almost high accuracy to get the same answer a correct accurate answer so this would work even better and that is why actually even for larger context this mechanism can be used so that is the benefit of colbert so thanks for watching and uh, if you have any query or any suggestions please uh, write in the comment please like share and subscribe thanks